Hello, this is Brad Tallis with NextGen Solutions, and welcome to this week's Fusion Friday. So today's topic is all about adding comments to your design. So let's take a look. So this tip is to show a seldomly used command inside of Fusion, and that is this comments field right down here. And you can see that it's actually folded down. If I expand that open, it actually allows me to add comments into my design. Uh, so as you're working on a design, you might be thinking, oh, I, I need to write this down or I want to record something or something like that through your design process. This is a great way of doing that. So for example, as I'm looking at this design here, I can kind of see that the hinges are kind of in a weird location and I want to move those. Um, but I don't want to do it right now. I want to continue working on my design. So I might come in here and just say, um, you know, move uh, hinges into correct location. Now I can just hit post and that'll just record that um, text right there. But you'll also notice it allows me to capture an image or capture a comment on an object or comment on a point. So I might do on an object and I'm just going to go ahead and click on that hinge and I'll say post. And that is going to capture that in the comment section here with an image. So now we can see that there is this capture here and it says move hinges into the correct location. I can click on this to view it in a larger format. Um, we can kind of see that's highlighted blue. I can even come in here and say true size and it'll make it a little bit larger and easier to see. And we've just captured that uh, information. I can also capture information from like a web page or something. I might want to use this particular hinge. So I'm just going to copy this web page and let's just document that in here and post that. I could also make comments about, you know, if I'm using particular size screws, I can say use, you know, quarter 20 um, screws or whatever, <laughs> um, just so I'm capturing this information into my design. And then the other kind of cool thing you can see is it's actually capturing these comments uh, in the particular version that I'm in. So if I scroll down, you'll see some previous ones that I've done earlier. So for example, this one says remove center rail and make you know the top one solid piece. So instead of having this center rail here, I would rather have just a solid piece going across. Um, and that was on version two. And if I keep scrolling down on version one, you can see you know move handles to be more centered on the door frame. Uh, same same idea. So pointing to an object, the handles are pretty close to the left side. I think it might look better having them in the middle. So use the comments to capture your thoughts, uh, things you want to come back and change at a later time. Um, and it's right here in your design. So you don't have to have post-it notes or a Google Doc or anything like that. Um, and then the last thing with this is I can fold that back down. And if I take a look at this um, on a browser, it's capturing all of these comments for this wine cabinet. And we can see all of the comments that I've done so far and, and which version um, they are, are in. So version one, version two, and version four. And I can click on any of these to view them. So if I click on that, it's going to bring up a 3D view of my design. I can rotate that around and take a look at what the comments are. I can even reply to these. Um, you know, if, if I was working with a team, for example, um, I could reply to the person that made the comment and say, yep, I'll move the hinges or something like that. So. Now you know about the comments field, maybe it'll help you on future projects. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, all I ask is that you give the video a thumbs up 
and share or repost the video with others in your network. This will help spread the knowledge of Fusion out to the community. If you have any comments or ideas for future topics, please reach out to me at bradtallis at nextgensolutions.com and I look forward to seeing you on the next Fusion Friday.